last night, I had the most incredible <laughs> the most pivotal pivotal moment of my life just took place. The most transformational thing that has ever happened to me. And being that this whole channel is about transformation, that's what it means to me. You know, I talk a lot about crystals, but last night what happened was unbelievable. But that's <laughs> that's what makes this such a powerful thing is because of the belief imbued in this. And um, there's a lot now in my life that has changed just in that one specific moment for me of what happened last night. And I just feel like in my heart, um, in my heart, and the first thing that I want to do is, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I don't care anymore. I want to tell you who I am. And this is in conjunction with what happened to me last night, which you probably picked up from the title of this video, was an alien contact experience. But this wasn't just like an uh, alien contact experience. This was, this was contact with something much different entirely. Something much more epic. Something much more epic. So, I'll just get into it. <laughs> I'm so shook. Sorry, guys. So, my friend Lucas from high school, my best friend, I haven't seen him in a few years, and he's come over to catch up. Um, we're just, you know, we're just catching up. He's He lives in San Francisco where the, there's some fires taking place and he needed a place to stay, so he came. And we were wandering around last night, kind of, we were on this this energy wave of, you know, let's adventure and we're wandering around out in the mountains and it was nighttime. So this is about, this started happening around eight o'clock PM. And I just kept feeling in myself the whole time that we were hanging out wrong inside of myself because I just kept thinking and comparing everything to other things in my life. Like we would be walking and hanging out and I would be comparing it to hanging out with somebody else. Or it was like bringing up a lot of emotions from high school, which is what I have him associated with. Like a lot of who I used to be. And this voice in my head, there's this thing that I do where I just talk over everything and narrate everything. Like, like it's some narrator who's trying to define everything and give everything meaning. And I started breaking down. And I really was crying, but inside, in a much more kind of profound sense. I felt like just dead inside, so hurt, because I've come so far on this spiritual journey of creating myself and finding who I really am in my spirituality. And I was just done. I, that's really what it was. It was a moment of be, just being done. I was tired of it. All the negative energy that was coming up, all these thoughts in my head about who I'm supposed to be, and and that, and then I just, I started thinking to myself, this is what the problem is. The problem in my life, the freaking problem, <laughs> it's so simple. The problem is that Nathan has an idea of how things are supposed to be. Nathan has an idea of who he's supposed to be, what he's supposed to do, and the, what, what's supposed to happen in the world around him. He's got this big plan. And me, that's not my plan. Like, I don't know what Nathan's doing sometimes. <laughs> but me, I feel differently about it. And I started thinking to myself, what would life look like if I just 100% trusted the universe? Because I realized that I'm, I'm coexisting with Nathan here. And... He's living a life, you know, and, and then I'm kind of like attached with it and I'm kind of experiencing it. And then I, I get to be the observer of his reality and his life for my 
for, you know, for this piece of my consciousness in this dimension. That's how I'm feeling about it anyways. So I'm realizing that the reason I'm unhappy and in pain and hurt is because I am massive. Inside of my heart, there is something really profound and powerful. Seriously powerful inside of me. I have something really incredible going on in here. And it hurts because Nathan's always trying to define it. He's always trying to say what it is and what what can what can Nathan create out of whatever I feel. And I realized I wish I wish Nathan would just let us both do what we really want and what we really feel in our hearts, that big expansiveness, who we really are. And I realized I started feeling all this fear about that, like all the things I'd have to let go of to step into that to that power of who I really am. And I said to myself, what would it look like if if you 100% trusted the universe? 100%. Meaning that you just trusted life. That's how I was looking at it in my mind. I was thinking, what if you just trusted life? If you just followed your heart and the power inside of you, and there was never any definition that needed to be had about things. What if your person that you're coexisting with didn't have to define everything and constantly be telling the world who they are and themselves and creating this image? What if I could just trust life and just be the real authentic me and power in every single moment? And I said, what would that look like? And I, and I started feeling so much fear and so much anxiety. And I felt like it was that was it. I felt like I was done. I had this realization that I don't trust the universe. I had this realization. I don't, I don't really trust the universe. I've been making all these videos, talking all this spiritual stuff, and I realized I don't really trust the things that I talk about. Because if I did... I would be in the expansive power of who I am, and yet I'm just always burying it inside of myself. And so I said, I'm done. Life is too hard. It was like a weird kind of conscious moment in me. I'm done. Life is too hard. And then I said, you know what? This, this is it. This is the moment I decide if I'm just going to give up, you know? Like, I'm just going to give up. I don't care anymore. I'm done trying to be me. I'm just, life just sucks, right? This is, this was my, my pivotal moment in my heart was universe. What would it look like to 100% trust life? And I saw it in my mind. I saw what it looked like. I felt the fear and I said, look, if I should really do this, if I should really just live my life, If I should really just be who I am. <laughs> then put a bunch of spaceships up in the sky. <laughs> and the sky instantly lit up with a whole bunch of spaceships. <sighs> and my friend that was with me there. He was there for it all and he saw it all too. It was incredible. I was about to give up. I was going to be done because I've been having a really hard time lately. And um, I was just going to be done. And I said to the universe, it was basically like saying, God, are you there? If you're there, put a bunch of spaceships in the sky. And they just exploded out of the sky. And they were just doing circles, and it was the craziest light show I've ever seen. They got so close to me. My camera thing's doing weird stuff now. It just died, so now this is going to be shaky. Okay. So, I said to my God, to my universe. 
the energy that that is to me. If what I feel in my heart is really what I think it is, and the image and the vision in my mind that I see that I deserve, that I know who I really am, the power inside of me, if, if I can really trust it, just 100% just sit back and let life drive and stop trying to be Nathan, stop trying to define everything and just be the energy of the power of me in every moment. Put lights in the sky, boom, instantly. So, by the way, that was my fourth alien contact experience. So to me, this is also really pivotal because that's part of who I believe I am in another dimension of things. I believe that I have serious connections to that kind of intergalactical energy and that I'm here to be kind of a vessel for it, by the way. So... To me, that's also why that was the sign I threw up into the universe. Show me the ships. Put the ships out right now in front of me and my friend if this is really what I'm here for, if this is really what I'm supposed to do in my heart. So I told you I was going to tell you guys who I am. But that's the thing, is I am nobody but everyone at the same time. And that just sounds silly, but it's the truth. So I don't have a definition to tell you guys of who I am, but I wanted you to know that my channel is about transformation and change. And I've felt a lot of resistance lately in my videos and just in my person in general, because I felt like I literally have defined what my channel is about. Like it's just going to be about crystals, you know, and I can't tell you guys the kind of changes that are going to be taking place, but I can tell you the one thing that will always be the same about my channel is it's about transformation. And if there's anything I've learned about transformation, it's that it just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. So you can expect that certain qualities of my videos are going to be changing. And quite rapidly, because I manifest change very quickly in my life. So, what this might look like is, like, editing might be less. Um, maybe sometimes the, the form of upload might be kind of strange. And the schedule might seem more random rather than my normal consistent three days a week. And the reason for this is because in my heart, the power inside of me, it's not taking place here right now. It's expansive. So... I don't know. I'm not defining it right now, but the vision in my heart is, you know, walking into an airport, looking at the tickets and seeing, you know, I don't know, maybe go to Costa Rica or something. I don't have any plans because I don't believe in plans anymore. I believe in trust, trusting reality, trusting life, trusting me. And I know that no matter where I go, the power inside of me will be perfect. <laughs> So, yeah, things are going to be changing. Things are going to be changing. I'm moving out. The, the only thing that I know that is solid that will remain the same is that I make videos weekly, 100%. I can't tell you guys what it's going to look like. I can't tell you the kinds of things that the power, in the, the power inside of me and my heart is going to express. I don't know because I'm not interested in defining it. And I feel this. So something has awakened inside of me and it's not going back to sleep. It's not. It's not. I think there's something inside of all of us just slightly dormant because we're making it, we're making it be. Mine just woke up. So expect to see, expect to see some changes. There's going to be a lot of drastic changes in my personal life over the span of the next few weeks too. So you guys might also notice I might not be you know, the same kind of person that's always responding to everybody's comments. I am still reading them, I promise. I just, I'm going to have a lot going on in the physical realm of things right now. You know, trying to, to move out, explain this to my family. Um, you know, things like that. <laughs> so, I love you guys all a lot. This is literally 
literally the most pivotal, pivotal, <laughs> this is the most pivotal moment of my life, 100%, because that's the meaning that I'm giving it. I'm done defining things, but it was the most powerful thing <laughs> to this point, but now this is, so yeah, okay. I'll see you guys for my next video super soon. Um, I hope that you will be interested to stay on this journey with me. I have made some serious connections with the vast majority of you. Um, very blessed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you soon.